since 2006. That's 10 years now. Married since 2012. Yeah. That's four years now. We met online on a, on a gay dating site because back then I was not yet out, so the internet was my only way of meeting people. Um, I was browsing through profiles as usual and I saw something that interested me on Roderick's profile and I sent him a message to initiate a conversation and then since then we kept it up. Yes, it took about three months more or uh -huh. less to meet in, in person, so it was a slow... Yes, so beginning, but yeah. So beginning. I proposed. Because I told him to. <laughs> And we were in Gozo for a weekend, I had bought a, uh, a watch and I gave him the watch and I proposed, it was a uh, nice very nice moment. moment. Yeah. Our friends were the my, my, our really, really close second. friends. Uh, and then uh, my family, uh -huh. and then eventually, and eventually my your family. family. Much later. My family took it very similar to what I oh, said. Just like our friends, so they were very happy, uh, especially my siblings. My mother needed a little bit, a little bit more time to digest it, but then she was mm. okay. But nothing to to negative or to uh, she wasn't uh, sulking or anything. No, yet, no. So. My my parents struggled a bit more with the with the news. They they weren't very happy about it in the beginning, and it took many many months of convincing and letting them just absorb it and slowly slowly come to terms with it. Um, then they were fine, and now they're. Mm -hmm. Super happy about it, as if nothing really happened. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, it's perfectly normal. Normal. We got married. Um, back then, in 2012, there was nothing which officially recognized gay couples together. Um, after Neil's research, um, we, we saw that there was marriage offered in, in full marriage offered in Portugal and in New York as well. But we chose Portugal for well, for the easy way out in a way because we had friends there helping us with documentation and it was easily reachable and uh, and it still offered the full full package. Mm -hmm. Because we insisted that we did not want a civil union, we wanted exactly. marriage. The day itself was in Portugal at the, the marriage, marriage registry. Um, we had a couple of friends with us who were also our, inter our interpreters and helped us with the process. Um, but Portuguese friends. So. Portuguese friends. We didn't have anyone else with us, no friends, no family. So in that respect, it was quite a lonely, a lonely experience. We're still very excited, however, and then ner and yes. nervous. And then to make, to make up for that, the absence of everyone else, two weeks later when we came back down, we had a, we had a very big party where we invited our friends and family and it was a very big nice celebration with a serious moment in the beginning where we had our best men mm -hmm. and best women making nice speeches and, ourselves, and ourselves about the relationship and then we had a nice party where we just let go and, cool. and celebrated the moment it was really fun wildly wildly practical differences not really since the way we used to live together before we got married it's almost identical to what uh -huh. we do now so but inside, somehow, yes, there is some kind of difference, but it's not a significant or a life-changing difference. We know that we're... Uh, which basic, bound, which, which bound means more, more that if we're having an argument or if something is going wrong, yeah, exactly. then there's more of an effort to keep it together. Because it's a hmm. commitment and you say, you know, you need to fight a bit more for it. Yes. Whereas before a wedding, you before a marriage, there's always the option of just leaving, walking out, whereas now you, you do your best to avoid that. <laughs> 20, 30 years time, you will be 6, 70, I will be a bit less. Um, You'll still be the most forgetful one though. The big question for me is where will we be? Will we be in old people's home or will we be at home? <laughs> That's what I always wonder. Where I will I be at that age? Hopefully, hopefully at home, <laughs> in my in my house with, with our so. cats, maybe with some children, maybe, maybe yeah. and maybe grandchildren yeah. by then. Uh -huh. But pretty much the same, I think. Meeting our friends and family, still active, still, active, still going out, uh -huh. having parties and dinners at home, traveling still, traveling. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> um, Fingers crossed. Okay. 
still handsome, however. Always. <laughs> The first advocacy activity I did for LGBTIQ was the report I wrote for MGRM on uh, transgender issues, and that was in 2010, if I'm not mistaken. 910. When we moved to the it, it, it was launched in 2010, yeah, December 10. Working, that was my first active involvement with the LGBTI community in terms of advocacy, and since then I've remained involved with doing legal work for MGRM and advocacy, advocacy support for them, but also in my own activities with my own organization. I think the campaign started decades ago, before it took the shape of a formal campaign, mm -hmm. because I think people in Malta have been talking about it, asking for it in many different ways mm -hmm. for a very, very long time. I mean, there are couples in Malta who've been in some way married or in a recognized relationship outside of Malta for many, many years, decades. So there's always been, I think, a bit of a movement towards getting there. Um, and I, from what I know of the history of, of the movement, I think MGRM took it on as one of the very first advocacy initiatives. So that, I think, takes it back formally as a formal campaign, 15 years, I think. I think the most difficult part we had, and this I'm speaking from my personal experience and working within the, the group as well, is the, the ease with which the general public could comment publicly and judge and pass very ugly, harsh, hatred-based comments against you simply because of you and who you were and what you are asking for. Um, I think the general difficulties of advocacy are something we're all, always used to because we know that advocacy means you're challenging ideas, you're advocating with the government that's not necessarily on your side, so that's part of the dynamics. But when the general public, people who don't know you, have no idea about you, just easily feel justified in insulting you and calling you names and being aggressive just because you're asking for something basic and fundamental, then that gets, that gets difficult, yes. Outside Parliament. Yeah, so San George. Outside Parliament. Celebrating. Wait, waiting for it to happen. The civil union legislation for us personally meant that the marriage we had contracted a few years before was finally legally recognized. So that meant that in Malta, in the eyes of the law, the state and everyone who actually were married. So that did have quite a lot of personal significance. Yeah. But I think there's much more significance for what it meant for the whole, the whole nation. Not only members of the community, but I think the whole nation took a, took a leap towards right. human rights development and human rights acknowledgement. That finally, a large section of the population is now recognized as having equal rights as, as the others. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is, 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 is massive. Massive. And it was also beautiful to see all those different people. Well. Those yes, people the, the celebration on the day was, families, uh, was nice. Families, people, young people. That was beautiful. Uh -huh. No, and we know that, that 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 law is changing thousands of lives on a on a regular basis, mm -hmm. and that that's great. That's good to know. It's lovely. Us, I don't speak about my private life it's very very barely and rarely. But at school, if I have to speak about Neil, people who know me know that Neil is my 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 husband. So. Um, I refer to him as me. Otherwise, I simply refer to my husband. So um, sometimes, but there's no thought about it as my partner. But it's mainly my husband more than anything else. Um, and, and people know me at school, so they they don't ask. But there are no double takes, you know, nothing. So it's comfortable. Truthfully, if they ask. So far, it never happened. Um, but if someone had to ask, well, did the man mm -hmm. married to, to a man, to, to Neil? First, I would say to Neil. I don't need to specify he's a man. I'm married to Neil. <laughs> they come to junior college already knowing that I'm, uh, I'm gay, I'm married, I'm, uh, I'm an actor, I'm this and the other. So, and then sometimes they're a bit afraid as well, so they don't really ask personal questions. So, to, to personal. So, I'm a bit strict to me on so much. <laughs> yes, I, I think so. Since 
I was approached in the past um, a number of times with issues some students had. Um, one of them at some point was also kicked out, kicked from home. So, And she approached me to help her and I put her in contact with some people who, who could help her. And other people came, approached me and then they, they disclosed their orientation, their, their struggles. And again, every single time that happened, I don't feel myself too competent in handling coming out issues. So I always refer them to other counsellors or people who can, uh, from MGRM who can handle them uh, or help them properly with their issues. But then, as for a listening ear, yes, that I can offer and I have offered. Three words describe our story. No. Happy? Mm -hmm. Happy story. Yes, of course. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't convince me. <laughs> um, supportive. Um, I'm very bad at summarizing things in one word. Very stable. Easy going. Easy going. In the sense, although we had the struggles with each other and with family and everyone else, I think generally as a relationship and even vis-a-vis -vis people around us, it was quite easy going. We, yeah, it's easy, that's yeah. how we get along with each other. It's a very easy, straightforward relationship and that's how I think we deal with mm -hmm. challenges, society, family, friends. Mm -hmm. It's easy going. Yes. Yeah.